part three to our watch along of Ravayanan. It's also on YouTube. You saw a very cut up version, just like the other two parts. If you haven't seen the other two parts, please watch the other two parts. If you saw us on YouTube, you saw a very cut up version because of copyright reasons. If you like to see full, I'm, I'm repeating myself. Uh, full on cuts on <laughs> channel memberships and uh, Patreon. That's what I'm trying to say. At the end of this part, we will talk about the movie and review it, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's just finish this movie, huh, babe? Okay. ஒரு <laughs> 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 காரணம் <laughs> 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 அழிக்க முடியாது தள்ளிப்போ Interesting turn of events. It's a really interesting adaption of it. Yeah, but I will say that um, I'm really glad that they covered the fact that Sita had to take a test to prove yeah, her yeah, 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 yeah. We read that after we saw the the anime yeah, of it. Yeah, I read uh, the comic. The, I was so mad. The comic that somebody sent us. And we figured out at that point that at the end of it all, Sita yeah. had to prove that basically she didn't get taken advantage of. Right, or because whatever. she, you know, told, yeah. you know, he, no, he never did anything and he didn't believe her. Yeah, it's definitely something that'll uh, make your blood boil a little bit for sure. Um, and in that moment, you know, you've chosen the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> um super interesting that they the, the stuff that they included stuff that they didn't almost a stockholm syndrome thing going on <coughs> at times um it was it was a super interesting adaption um that i obviously it's not a direct like retelling like the the ones they've been putting out lately are right it's like a modern kind of an adaption Right. Like, parts of the story, like, I don't even, obviously, I think he was playing Rom, but he, he definitely wasn't giving off Rom vibes, though. No. Um, uh -uh. um in it. The, uh, yeah. But it was more like, like, the wonder and magic of it was taken yeah. out, and it was just, like, a baseline people story. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Vikram did a fantastic job. Mm. Thousand percent a part I would love to play. It must have been so fun. I, for, it must have been so fun for him. I love how they did his character. Yeah. The, like, the multiple, the demon heads. Even when he was first talking about it, like when he was like, I have tint, and the camera was going yeah. all different way. Like it was really, really good. I liked it. Really well done. And maybe they've had many stuff that was similar to this. Cause I'm, I know they've done the Ramayana 
a thousand yeah. times in India. Yeah. Um, but obviously this is the one of the first adaptions as opposed to something that's just been kind of inspired. Mm -hmm. Like um, RR was kind of inspired by yeah. the Ramayana as well. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed that how he did this character. I, I really enjoyed his performance of it. Mm -hmm. um, such a fun role. I, I even thought at times I thought, so is the other guy the demon and is he mm -hmm. like secretly Ram? I, I oh yeah I didn't know if that's where the way they were going I was like that'd be weird yeah <laughs> that'd be weird um, <laughs> there's just certain things that they they and obviously the only thing we really know of the Ramayana is what we she's read in the comic and then what we saw in the anime mm -hmm. and uh, we saw like what we know from the other films like Hanuman right or, or, or just stuff we've heard right. so that's our only knowledge of it so there's much more that obviously knowledge of of things that happened or just stories about it we don't know yeah. um so we that's that's the only knowledge that we had of it but i thought it was a a super interesting especially for Monty Rotnam who i feel like this is kind of a different style at least shooting style than i'm used to seeing from him really interesting cinematography shots wise and kind of more stylistic at times as opposed to i um a lot of his films are a little more straightforward style shooting. Yeah. Um, I thought it was really well done. I, uh, I liked it because I felt like it was the perspective of each yeah. person. So like when it was um, Vera, it was very much like you never knew what angle you were going to get or what mm -hmm. like focus you were going to get. Like yeah. it was really cool. And I felt like that was very much in the vein of his character. Yeah, they definitely gave that character, um, and I don't know the whole backstory of the demon guy with the yeah. ten heads. I don't know. Like I said, my only knowledge is that. Right. That film, uh, the the anime that we saw. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's not this exactly, but I thought it was super interesting to give him that style of backstory in this mm -hmm. and make you feel bad for him. Because in the, that other one, you're like, oh, this is an evil... Right, he just, just an evil stole her because she's beautiful, and he's just yeah. Um, and this one, you're like, ah, I kind of understand. Right, <laughs> right. I understand why uh, he did what he did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, like, and I, f I feel like I'm. They covered that because even she was like, "Don't, don't make me feel things for them. Like, don't." Yeah. Don't soften my anger. Don't make me understand. Like, I want to be angry. I want to be strong. I want to fight. But she's like, she she knows it was wrong. And she knows that also, there's a problem. Is that his actual backstory? Or is he just telling lies? Because I don't know. Because he's is he like the deceiver as well? Like, he, um, kind of stuff like that? Does he do stuff like that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I don't know the characteristics of all these people. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, it seemed like it was like a real backstory for him. Um, yeah. And it definitely made you like, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, uh, I'd be mad too. Yeah. Um, but he did a fantastic job. I uh, The the biggest gripe is I, I think the audio let them down a lot with the dubbing. There was like a lot of not like like you could tell it was dubbed. Mm. like over it wasn't sync sound and so or like sometimes mm. when they screened the audio peaked and, and stuff like that and so that's um i never like when that happens because it takes you out of it sometimes um so the the audio part of it is something that i i, I think could have been better um ashwarya did a fantastic i, I think she's a perfect cast for a sita character um yeah. she's so freaking gorgeous yeah, I. Who's playing it? I think it is it. No, it's not her. Um, yeah, I, uh, it's hard to really think of it, but you because you're just supposed to find this just majestic beauty, right? Right. Yeah, like she's like goddess level. Yeah. Beauty in the T mm. Telugu one that came out last year that that everybody hated. Um. It was creedy, but yeah, she definitely suits it. Yeah, how do how did uh, Indians take this story, specifically Hindus? 
where they kind of he he kind of um I took a little some liberties with the story. Mm-hmm. It felt like at least maybe he didn't. You guys can yeah. let me know. But um with some of the story here. Um yeah. how did uh how did everybody take that as an audience? Cuz I know there were some people who are very sensitive about changing stuff like that about Hindu mythology and all, and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but I sure I did so, so, so well. She did, yeah. She always does really and it, well. Uh, but it was also interesting because, like, you know, in the Ramayana, like, she's set up in a garden. Yeah. She has everything she needs. Mm-hmm. She's being protected, even though she doesn't want to be there. Yeah. She's fully taken care of. Mm-hmm. And in this... Yeah. She's not not as not as nice of digs. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, it was it was interesting how they blended um, certain characters to like Hanuman. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> you knew immediately he was Hanuman, um, and obviously he was supporting in this. I kind of he was like he was my favorite character in the uh, the anime that we saw. I loved his character. I mean, then when we saw the Telugu Hanuman, that was really great too. That was a lot of fun. Um, this one, I feel like you definitely, like, before Rick ever watches this, he I think he needs to have knowledge of the Ramayana. I mean. Because it's assuming that you do. Yeah. It's assuming that you know something about these characters. I think to get some of the dialogue and stuff. And characters. Yeah. Hanuman starts but- jumping in trees and you're not going <laughs> to be like. What the heck is this guy doing? Right, right. I can guarantee right. if you're not you're like, like familiar with it. Just like some random guy jumping around. Yeah. yeah. Why is he talking like that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. But I mean, why they're doing all the camera angles for the for the heads. And, yeah, yeah. Um, and th- th- they went over specific plot points. But what were you saying? Do you think? I I think you could go into it with without mm. knowing it, knowing. But I think it's more helpful to have that knowledge because there's a lot be, of stuff that would have just I think you're fallen be a lot more flat. Confused yeah, if, it would have fallen flat. There would have been some confusion. It probably would have taken you a little bit longer to catch up. Um, but I think the story is done in a way that, like, you could enjoy it. Yeah. You just won't get everything. If you didn't read that comic, we wouldn't have known about that. That one part where she had to. Oh, totally. But I because. I was fully expecting he's going to come and then they're going to be fine and happily ever after because that's Mm -hmm. what we've seen. Yeah, what we saw in the anime version. And so the fact that when she walked out there and he immediately was like, like, you know, asking her all the questions, I was like, they're going to do it. (laughs) I was so happy because I feel like that is so important. (laughs) To put in the story. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah, uh, score was great by our, yeah. uh, my number there. Um, I I think we had seen every song. Oh, really? Yeah, we had reacted to the whatever three songs there were. Some beautiful songs. Mm-hmm. Um, good, great cinematography and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a super interesting one. And Prithi Rush, I think, did a good job. He um, kind of had a sh- straightforward um, cop kind of thing. He didn't. He wasn't giving off a lot of rom vibes to me, though. Yeah. You know. And maybe he wasn't supposed to. You guys like. You guys can tell me. Uh, obviously, it seemed like he was playing rom. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. I. I mean, he obviously was. Obviously, it's an adaptation. He was. But I feel like it was very much highlighting the obsession was more with killing, finding Vera yeah. than it was even about. Sita. Getting his freaking wife yeah. back, like, because in the anime and this other stuff we've seen, Rom has such a like a, he's a warrior obviously, but he has such a sweet demeanor. Yeah, he he's, a, he's a got very a kind gentleness demeanor. and like a and Pris- caring. Prissy Rosh did not have that at all. Mm-mm. Like I didn't see any of that. So yeah, that no, was, there that was, was definitely a- no gentleness or caring. Yeah, because he was very much like, uh, even when the brother came. Yeah. And he was like, oh, my gun's unloaded. And then he's just like, oh, never mind. I'm going to yeah. put bullets and bullets and bullets in you. Yeah. Yeah, so that's interesting. I'm, I'm yeah, like, it was very 
different from the ROM that like I said, we you had guys have probably seen a thousand of these seen. adaptions and remakes of Ramayana. <laughs> We've seen like three. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, and this is like the first modern adaption I think I've ever seen of it. Um, it's definitely a story that I think can be told in many different, kind of like Shakespeare. You can tell it in like mm-hmm. the way Vishal did ha- uh, Hamlet and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, there's so many cool characters to focus on, so you could dive deep into any of Who's that. the raven supposed to be? Oh, wait, does Ram represent the raven? It wasn't a raven. It wasn't? I'm pretty sure it was a kite. They look the same. They don't. And it was a bird, once again. It wasn't a kite. Kai Poche. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was a really interesting adaption of it. Um, God, I got to watch it with you because the conversation Thanks. wouldn't have been about the uh, the Ramayana aspects of it if I had to, if I was watching it with Rick and he hadn't seen, he still hasn't seen the, I told him, I was told him to watch the anime um, just for educational purposes. I feel like it's a very good first story. introduction education to the story. Yeah. Uh, just so like you know, the Indians have been grown up with it. We haven't. And yeah. so to just have that knowledge of like, okay, this is this, this is this. And it's done in parts of the story and done in so many different movies. Mm. Um, and so it was super, super interesting. I thought it was very well done. A really interesting Money Rotnam film, considering his filmography that I know of him. Um, seemed like a very different style of filming than I'm used to seeing from him. And I thought he did. Uh, I thought he did well. Um, let us know what other like Ramayana adaptions and uh, kind of modern remakes there are. Uh, are there? Are there any? I'm assuming yeah. there are, right? Yeah. But, I mean, I would think so. Yeah. But I, I'm here for it. I like the characters and the story. So. Uh, yeah. No, it's so you got the the anime, and then. It was a Hanuman story. Oh, we saw the anime Hanumans. Yeah. And then we saw the Telugu Hanuman. Mm-hmm. And now this. Yeah. And so we're kind of just on the Ramayana kick. Um, let us know what other ones there are that we should uh, watch. I, th- I enjoyed it, though. I thought it was a really loved Vikram's performance, loved Ashwarya's performance. Uh, yeah. They were the two standouts in terms of the um, acting. Oh, they definitely, yeah, they carried it. It was great. Um. I would love, and so that was a, Vikram must had a, a, a real fun time uh, playing that role. <laughs> tick, 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 tick. That's fun. Uh, let us know what you think about this movie. If you like it, we don't like it. What you, what your thoughts about it are. Which we are next Tamil film that Steph should watch with me, uh, Ramayana or other. Uh, please let us know that. If you're seeing this on YouTube, you saw a very cut-up version because of copyright reasons. If you like to see the full uncut version, though, you can have it to Patreon or channel memberships. I'll put the link in the description below. Pin comments. You can go check that out. And, um... Go to the next watch-along!